Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In this video I'm going to explain all these scratch blocks in 7 minutes. If you haven't already watched the other videos of the 7 minute series, make sure to do so and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. Okay, 3, 2, 1, let's start. So the first thing we're going to learn today is variables. A variable is a form of data, it's like a suitcase. It stores information and you can use that information to perform certain actions. So already, I have already created a variable, it's called my variable. It appears at the top right corner of the screen and this variable is currently set at zero. Now I can change the value of the variable with this block. So I can set it to 90 if I want or I can set it to a word like scratch or any data type and here we are with this block this is change your variable and you can change it by a certain amount so i want to add one to it i use change variable by one so it moves up to 91. the next block is show and hide very simple show you can see the variable on the screen hide you can't see the variable on the screen and you can always adjust it with this tick over here and you can create multiple variables just click make a variable and select if it's for all sprites or the sprite only and name it and you can also I think read your variable in different ways so let me just go up here you can do a normal readout which is what it is like now a large readout and then right click on it and you can go slider and that actually adjust the variable manually on the screen so I'm just gonna go normal variable here so now what we're going to do is lists. Lists is another source of data and you can choose your list name. So in this case, I'm just going to call it list. And a list is like, it's sort of like a shopping list. You're containing, Marvel stores one thing. A list will store multiple things. So instead of creating about 10 variables, you could just use one single list. Now, how do I add something to the list? This block, add thing to list. And I'm just going to type, scratch for example we added scratch to the list the next thing i'm gonna add coding to the list and then the final thing i'm gonna add class to the list so that's scratch coding class now you can delete blocks so say i don't want scratch so what i do is delete number one of list because scratch is the first item of the list you can see on the list on the top right and i just deleted it and then delete all this is delete all the contents of list so that's all deleted now this block is insert thing at one at list so i'm just gonna type some random numbers here insert thing at one of list if i do that it's gonna insert something else at that thing so for example i just inserted nine and number one of the list and then the next block we're gonna learn is this and it's replace item one of lists with things. So item one of this is nine. So say I don't want nine and I changed a thing, which I just did. So I want to replace item two, for example, with a number 430. And there, thing has disappeared and it's been replaced with 430. Instead of deleting it and adding it, that is a faster option. Now this one is item what of list and it basically is the item number of the list. So here, thing is the first item of the list. So item one of the list is thing. And then item number of thing in list is basically the number which thing is on the list. So it's number one. And then length of list is how long the list is. You can see it down here, just how many items are in the list. List contains thing. Does it contain the thing? Answer it, it does. And then the final thing is show list, which you can see the list highness, you can't see the list. And again, you can adjust it with the tick and you can import and export the list over there. Right, that's that done. First thing before we move on to music is my block. And you can basically choose a block. A block, I like to think of it as a function in Scratch. So I'm just going to call it function. And then when I create it, it says define function and you can define it it's basically you can input multiple code it's like a message so for example if i go uh, let's say say hello and think hmm and then when i go green flag clicked instead of writing all that code out i can just put that into one single block and it's really useful so 
if I go hello, and then hmm, because I just did the function, and the function is defined here. So we will talk about more of this later, and you got to delete your block you uh, in the code, and then you can delete your your my block, and it's not there anymore. Right, we have two minutes for music, and music is, this one is play drums for something beats. The beats is how long you want your note to last for, and you can choose your instrument, and this is an, an ex extension, so you have to go down here and add your extension, which is here, music. And here we go, we can like try different instruments here, I'm not going to do all of them. The next block is rest, and a rest means it's not going to play anything, it's sort of like a weight block, so same thing for a certain number of beats. This one is play note for something beats. We've been doing a lot of this with the LEGO EV3 robot, and it's basically just playing a note. The middle C is 48. The middle C is 60, apparently, in this one. And then the beat is how long you want it to be. And you can set your instrument to piano, or you can change it to all the others. There's pizzicato, which is actually pretty cool. And there's a music box, vibraphone, all that. And next is tempo. And tempo is how fast you want your music to be. So in this case, the tempo is already set at 60. And you can increase your tempo with this block. If you want to decrease it, just simply go minus. 20 and it will decrease and the tempo value is stored in this block which you can use with operators right i hope i've explained all those blocks well enough and now i'm going to do a puzzle for the next few minutes so what we're going to do is variable 2 i'm going to set my variable to 1 and then set my variable 2 to a value of 3 no, what if I did this? What would it, what would it give me if I did my variable plus my variable two? What would that give me? Well, the answer for, to that question is four, it's because one plus three is four. And we will talk more about these concepts uh, in the next videos. The next video is going to be see if you understand everything and the final video of the 7 minute series is going to be, I'm going to explain all the blocks briefly in 7 minutes. So that's all the blocks uh, we have covered now in this 7 minute series. The next two videos as I said are just going to be revision. So anyway thank you so much for watching this video of the scratch coding class. If you haven't checked out my other videos make sure to do so leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more coding videos and i will see you soon with the next seven minute video bye